Hey guys, TechDude731 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to access safe mode as well as regain access to the boot options menu in Windows 10. Similarly to Windows 8, Microsoft has disabled the boot menu, making it more difficult to enter safe mode. I will be showing you two methods you can use. The first is simply access safe mode from your current Windows desktop, and the second to regain access to the boot menu, which can be used even if you cannot access Windows normally. For the first me method, you will need to be able to boot into Windows normally. To access safe mode, go to start, then power, then hold shift and click restart. You can let go of the shift key afterwards, and then you will get this menu. From here, click Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, then Startup Settings, and then finally Restart. Once the system restarts, you will be given this menu. From this menu, to select an option, you need to press the F key corresponding to the number. So, for Safe Mode, you need to press F4 for safe mode with networking. You need to press F5 and so on. So I just want to enable safe mode, so I press F4. Once the F4 key is pressed, your PC will boot into safe mode. You can tell it's safe mode by logging in and you will see a black background as well as safe mode written in all four corners. Now onto the second method, which will allow us to bring back the boot menu. This will allow us to access safe mode even if we can't boot into Windows regularly. So to re-enable this boot menu, simply open any command prompt as administrator. I'm going to also show you how to open command prompt from your computer if you cannot get into Windows normally and we can do this by inserting your installation media such as your USB or DVD. To do this, if you are if you can access safe mode or already know how to access command prompt with Windows, skip ahead there'll be an annotation with the time. To do this, shut down your computer and insert your installation media. Once you have inserted the installation media, boot into the BIOS of your computer. This is usually done by pressing F2 or delete at the very start when you press the power button. And in your BIOS, navigate to the boot tab. From here, find your installation media and move it up to the top of the list. This will be different for some of you, but the procedure is the same, and there will usually be instructions on the side telling you what to do. In my case, all I need to do is press the plus and minus. Once that's done, head over to exit and save the changes. Then when prompted, press any key to boot from your USB or DVD. You will now be at the Windows Setup screen with this window. If you want to change the language, you can do that. Just click Next. And from here, in the bottom left corner, click Repair Your Computer. This will display a menu. From here, click Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, and then Command Prompt. Now, in this Command Prompt, type BCD Edit, space forward slash set space curly bracket default curly bracket closed space boot menu policy all one word legacy press enter and you should see these operation completed successfully now close the command prompt and restart your PC as soon as you see this BIOS splash screen, press F8 repeatedly. It may take a few tries, as there is a very brief time which you must press F8. Now you will get to advanced boot options. From here, use the arrow keys to navigate to whichever 
option you would like, in my case safe mode, and then press enter. And your PC will once again boot into safe mode. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below. Leave a comment if you have one, and subscribe for more videos.